Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. A new bill to stop sex trafficking, and at least one survivor is backing it. I'm Virginia Chong. And I'm Brian Schlonsky in for Jason Martinez. 10 News is hearing from a woman who was 14 years old when she was forced into prostitution. She says a new law could protect other girls. 10 News reporter Mary McKenzie is live at the Hall of Justice to show us how. Mary? Virginia, Brian, this really comes down to child abuse and sex trafficking is a hub here in San Diego. We are a hub for sex trafficking, not just in the state, but in the country. It's an $810 million per year industry right here in San Diego County alone. Now today, State Assemblyman Brian Mainshine announced a bill which would give prosecutors another tool to fight sex trafficking, this time in civil court. Criminal sentences, he says, are known as a cost of doing businesses to a cost of doing business to sex traffickers. So this would be a first of its kind piece of legislation, which hopefully would land a financial blow to the industry, which experts say is changing. Now, because of the internet and the sophistication of these gangs, it's changed tremendously. These young girls that are in San Diego today might be in LA next week and Fresno the week after and Bakersfield the week after that and then brought back here again. So he says it is a vicious cycle that needs to be addressed, not just from a criminal standpoint, but also in civil court. This bill will have its first committee hearing coming up next week. We're live downtown. Mary McKenzie, 10 News. We have breaking news right now. The 10 News Live Center comedian Charlie Murphy has died 57 years old after a long battle with leukemia. Now he's well known for his part in the Chappelle show. He was a writer there and he also did several movies along with his brother Eddie Murphy. He was well known for some movies like Night at the Museum, Are We There Yet as well. And we have posted this on our Facebook page and we have people that are already commenting right now. Our 10 News viewers posting their condolences and remembering Charlie Murphy's career. You can join the discussion by going to our 10 News Facebook page and continuing the coverage at 10news.com. But right now we already have 724 uh, posts on this as well as shares and a lot of people just very devastated by this news. Virginia? Oh, our hearts go out to the family. Thank you, Kalina. This is a developing story. The medical examiner is trying to identify the driver whose SUV flew off I-8 in El Cajon. Happened about 10 o'clock last night. Police say the driver overcorrected, lost control of a Chevy SUV, went down a 100-foot embankment, and then rolled right into that billboard post. Firefighters had to cut him out of the SUV. He died at the scene. Lifeguards have called off their search for a teenager who disappeared in the water off Mission Beach. 16-year-old Mohammed Al-Mustafa and his family left Syria months ago. They were starting a new life here in El Cajon, and his parents say he was happy. Mohammed and his family were at the beach Sunday, and he told them he wouldn't go far into the water because he couldn't swim. Lifeguards believe he got caught up in a rip current. Crews searched that night and through yesterday, but saw no signs of him. Such a sad story. New today, the CEO of United Airlines speaking on camera about that incident that sparked global outrage. A passenger violently dragged off a flight. The head of the airlines now apologizing. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the exclusive interview. United Airlines apologetic CEO. It's not so much what I thought, it's what I felt. Probably the word ashamed comes to mind. Oscar like Munoz first, spoke exclusively reaction. with ABC News. Oh my God! Just days after passenger David Dow was violently dragged off a Chicago to Louisville flight Sunday, the airline kicking the Kentucky doctor off to make room for four crew members. The first thing I think is important to say is to apologize to Dr. Dow. Munoz at first making the already turbulent PR nightmare worse by calling Dow disruptive and belligerent. Now an about face after global backlash. My initial words fell short of truly expressing what we were feeling. Do you think he's at fault in any way? No, he can't be. He was a pain passenger sitting on our seat in our, in our, in our aircraft, and no one should be treated that way. Dow, left bloodied, has already retained high-profile personal injury attorneys. United Stock took a hit losing hundreds of millions of dollars. Chicago City Council and even members of Congress demanding answers. Munoz is promising immediate changes, like no more law enforcement pulling bumped passengers off United planes. To remove a booked, 
paid seating, pass, seating passenger. We can't do that. United says it will also look at how it compensates already seated passengers who are bumped, and its internal review will be released at the end of the month. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, New York. We have some new information about the young boy killed in the San Bernardino school shooting. Eight-year-old Jonathan Martinez was standing near his teacher Monday. Gunman Cedric Anderson opened fire in the classroom at his estranged wife, Karen, who was teaching. Karen also died. A nine-year-old boy was injured. Last night, the community gathered to light candles and to sing. Jonathan's principal remembered him as outgoing. He was born with a genetic condition called Williams syndrome. It causes cardiovascular disease and some learning disabilities, but it's often associated with more elevated social skills. Jonathan loved to give hugs. Jonathan loved just touching you. He was easy to, um, to love. Some families have returned to the school to help the children adjust to the loss. New today, President Trump says the U.S. is not going to get involved in Syria. These comments come less than a week after Trump ordered a strike against Syria. That strike in response to President Assad attacking civilians with chemical weapons. He said he had to do, quote, something, but doesn't want to get any more involved. Trump also warned that Putin's support for Assad is, quote, very bad for Russia and, quote, very bad for mankind. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson meeting with Vladimir Putin in Moscow today. He also met with Russian Foreign Ministry Sergei Lavrov to discuss the situation in Syria. Lavrov called the U.S. missile strike against Syria, quote, troubling and said that Russia won't let it happen again. Meanwhile, Putin claims that Syria didn't launch the chemical attack and that the U.S. is confusing who is responsible. Tillerson is in Russia trying to find some common ground. New today, veterans who rely on VA health care can now compare wait times for appointments. The Department of Veterans Affairs just launched this new website. It also includes information like how satisfied veterans are with their care at each facility, how care compares to other hospitals, and how national access is working. This change comes after you recall veterans died while waiting for care in VA facilities. We have a link to this site. Just go to 10news.com, click on that red TV button. New developments now today for the federal hiring freeze implemented by President Trump. It was just lifted this morning. In January, the president froze hiring for many government positions, including military and safety positions. Agencies will have until June to submit drafts for overhauling their workforces. They must also come up with ways to streamline those operations. Today, water agencies will consider hiking up sewer rates in 13 cities. The rates could go up as much as 9% per year for the next five years. That could start as early as July 1st. The rate hikes are linked to the Pure Water Project in the city of San Diego to treat wastewater. 10 News will have new developments from today's meeting on the Now San Diego starting at 4. Happening now, changes are coming to SeaWorld this summer. The theme park is unveiling its new mini submarine ride, which will be one of the main features of its Ocean Explorer attraction. Ten News reporter Mimi Akala is live at SeaWorld to give us a look. Mimi? Virginia, we just got a look at this. The first look about 30 minutes ago. This is one of seven mini submarines. This is it right here. It'll be one of several rides part of Ocean Explorer that's coming this summer. This one is called Submarine Quest. Two, one. The ride will turn young visitors into underwater explorers. A lot of educational elements are a part of this. The goal is to make riders feel like researchers on a mission to learn about undersea animals and how to save them. It'll also include digital navigation and an aquarium enhancing their understanding of the ocean ecosystem. Now, in addition to Submarine Quest, there will be four other rides to round out Ocean Explorer. So back out here live, this will stay here. Um, until on display until the actual Ocean Explorer area opens up. That's right over there. That's going to be in early summer 2017. Reporting live at SeaWorld, Mimi Alcala, 10 News. It's like fun. Thank you, Mimi. You know, we told you earlier this week about another big change at SeaWorld. No nightly fireworks, just on special occasions. The park will have a nightly light show instead.